Well, hello there, my beastly friends. Come hither, come slither, come hover, come lover, and welcome to the Bifrost Hour. My name is Shelley Schmalz, and I'm coming you undead tonight from Oakland Cemetery here in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, I'm going to take you on a tour of the sights and the sounds of the cemetery grounds for an amazing evening that you're sure to enjoy. Oakland Cemetery is Atlanta's OG graveyard that's been here since 1850. So let me dish a little dirt, a little dirt for you. Our performers have some really fun and dirty and naughty performances for you this evening. The first one coming up is Roz of Italia. She's a, an award-winning performer who has performed internationally and all over the United States, including the Apollo in Harlem, the Slipper Room in New York City, and the House of Blues in New Orleans. She's here to inspire and entertain you. So without any further ado, Raza Vitalia. Welcome back, fiends. Did Raza Vitalia have your heart spinning, your head turning? My undead beaten heart hasn't fluttered so fast in eons. Well, I'm glad she started our show with some lively entertainment, because right now we have you wanting more, I'm sure of it. Our next performer is Violet Freak. She's the nocturnal creature of the nightlife of Knoxville, Tennessee. She's a goth erotic temptress of the bump and the grind. She's been performing with Salome Cabaret since 2019, where she got her start off in the art of the tease. Um, also, in 2019, she graced the stages of Smoky Mountain Burlesque Festival. So, you know, she's out there just for you. So tonight, She's always striving to please and perturb. This vivacious viper has been seducing audiences and she's here for you. So get ready to get your freak on. Welcome back, fiends. Violet's performance has all my senses, my senses tingling, shouting, she's alive, she's alive. Don't you think so, Motley? Meet my friend Motley. He's here to help me introduce to you our next performer, Serendipity Love. Serendipity embodies all the elements of magic, mischief, and burlesque. She's been performing since 2011 and most recently moved from Honolulu, Hawaii to Louisville, Kentucky. She's performed with the Cherry Blossom Cabaret in Hawaii and also the Hawaiian Burlesque Festival. She sweats glitter and bleeds rhinestones and considers herself the unicorn of burlesque and you will too. Enjoy. Of course, you're absolutely right. Serendipity Love is the sexiest shelter in place I have ever seen. Now, will you help me introduce our next performer? Ula Vance. This sexy jazz chantreuse has emerged as an ingenue from the Seattle scene. She has a carousel of characters that she has at, at the tip of her tongue when she sings. She evokes Amy Winehouse and Billie Holiday, a little bit of Liza, and a little bit of Doris Day. 
She is a um, she has performed independently with Burning Hearts, Divinities, and Saints and Sinners Burlesque. She's the brilliant definition of a creative contradiction who lives by her motto, life is not complete until it's narrated by song. Enjoy. What's that, Harold? Yes, I think so too. Ula, Ula Vamp's kitty cat is sure on the prowl, and when you catch that bad kitty, you know she's going to be good. Would you like to help me introduce our next performer? Great, I want, to, I want your help too. Our next performer is Emerald Fire. She's what you get when you cross a burlesque dancer, an actress, a theatrical tech, a pyrotechnic nerd, and an actress all rolled into one. Emerald started her career in the Pacific Northwest dancing with the Provocateurs starting in 2015 through 2019. Emerald also uh, danced with the, with the fandoms in 2018 and 2019. When she's not burlesquing, she's circusing, whether she's in the air or playing with fire. Enjoy! I completely agree with you. One word, so many syllables describe Emerald. Come bust a ball. Ugh, oh, you slay me, Harold. Will you help me introduce our next performer? Oh, that's fantastic, thank you. Long ago, in a galaxy not that far from here, May the Forest was born with grit, grace, and a body from outer space. May is a 2012 graduate of the Iowa Burlesque uh, burlesque school and she also is a founding member of the Naughty Nerds Cabaret. She's a successful burlesque producer and on stage she specializes in sensual and seductive routines that tantalize the audience. Who needs the cantina band when you have a violin body on stage uh, to play their magical tunes? Now let May the Force bewitch you. Atlanta's mistress of magical mischief is Pixie Rose D. For the past 15 years, she's been spreading her wings with, with artful and graceful movements all over Atlanta. She's a true graceful and sexy artist from the, from the sky to the land, and today she's got some hooping around for you. Enjoy. Welcome back, my fiends. What a beautiful sight, watching Pixie Rose D spin her glitter through the night. Did you have a good time? I know I did. And she brought me to this magical place in Oakland Cemetery, full of flowers and beautiful essences to entertain you with. Now, our next performer is Megs Madrone. She's the belly dancing bad girl of burlesque your mama never warned you about. Whether she's playing with knives, spinning her tassels, or shimming her way into your dark little heart, Meg's got some evil in, in motion for you. Meg's mission is to spread her no fucks given body positive queer as fuck attitude all across the land. For the past decade, Megs has been surprising and delighting audiences with her deliciously dark and salaciously sassy themed burlesque performances. And she's thrilled beyond belief to be here with you tonight at the Bifrost Hour. Megs Madrone, out of the blue, she Megsverizes you. I hope you enjoyed her performance. I know the birds did. 
Fable Cry is our last performance for the evening. This theatrical rock band from Nashville takes elements from musically and, uh, and poetically from all things imaginative, mythical, and spooky. With a colorful haunting melody and a flourishing sweep of the hand, they weave their strand of tales and take you with them on a wild ride. From the eerie solitude of a dark forest to the epic waves of the ocean and the swept mountain path to the grittiest alleyways of sordid scum. Enjoy the tunes of Fable Cry. Welcome back, my fiends. Are you looking for some more Fable Cry? Are you yearning for it? Well, they have a rock opera coming out. It's a, it's a concept work that's been in the works for the past five years that brings together vampires and showgirls and features the seedy underbelly of the Prohibition era. I mean, I want to listen to it. I'm sure you will too. And now, alas, we've come to the end of the Bifrost Hour. I want to thank all the performers who entertained you this evening, and I want to thank you, the audience, for going along this journey with me tonight at Oakland Cemetery here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'll see you on the other side. Good night. <laughs>